Hello friends and welcome back to uh, Mega Aquarium and uh, the Freshwater Frenzy DLC which is uh, released a couple of weeks ago now and um, we're, we're currently doing the campaign and we're on the fourth mission so this is Kairobi Aquarium which has been struggling for some time and doesn't have a huge amount of animals to research it looks like so we end up having to breed and their trade so this could be quite fun you still need to work your way up the ranks and uh, there's a nice tip which says try not to trade away your last pair of breedable animals breed them first then trade the offspring which yeah i could understand that one uh looks like we've got a couple of tanks so, well we've got three tanks already so we've got uh pollock and cuttlefish in that one our lovely angel fish is in there and this tank is going to have our sunshine plecos and our turtles. And we do have a couple of messages before we start. Which is... Okay, so we can get some bullhas. But we need to trade the sunshine plecos for them. So therefore, we need to do a little bit of um, breeding initially with those sunshine plecos. And we can also get some gardener's killifish from buying them. So... That's not too bad, uh, 992, but I'm going to wait on that because I think my first stage is to um, is to breed the plecos. So I'm going to have a quick look what they need for breeding purposes. Uh, they do need a mate, which is fully grown, has not bred recently, and doesn't have a mate. Okay, so... Let me see, that's a nine. I'm um, hopefully that they should be able to find a mate. Oh no, we need one more animal of the same species. Okay, let's see what's available to us in our fish. Let's see if we can get a pleco. No, we can't at the moment, so we need some research points. Okay. What we could do to build up some research is make a nice tank. Uh probably maybe a lagoon tank and put in some cardinal te tetras and some of these corys we have a look Muno. oh this one likes to share with two different species so we'll have to hold off and put them in but we could start with some cardinal tetras i got a good little tank going we don't have anything salt water at the moment but i i think if we do a lagoon tank put in cardinal tetras then look for another acid animal um we could put then the adolfo's cories in as well so i think that's gonna be my first start and who knows the plecos might breed in the meantime uh let's have a look where should we go okay let's open this up I always kind of wonder where I'm going to go with the first couple of tanks and stuff like that. You know, am I going to make it quite large or am I just going to go a bit over the top? So we do have a few bits and pieces. Yeah, we've got our basic toilets and stuff. So let's grab them. Back a little way. And we could probably put down a couple of bits and pieces for our visitors so fizzy drinks machines this covers a good bit of area this is going to change I'm probably not going to keep this the same I'll start off try to get rank 9 and then I'm going to throw in a few other things So we're going to put some walls in so I can actually uh, generate another tank behind here. Because I don't want to give, I don't want them to give me bad prestige. So let's see what I'm going to have in. Got four people, got three tanks, so we could take on quite a few. I'm going to hire him for cleaning. Okay, somebody fixes and does gift shop. Feeding, fixing, and talking. Feeding. Okay, so let's grab a feeding person. 
This person fixes. And this is the only one we go as talker, so I'm gonna grab all four. And let's open up. Right, I've got 6,000. I'm gonna start with a lagoon tank. Probably gonna make it about 70. And I am going to stick. Oh, pick my next science project. Let's have a look. Oh, large row machine, I think. And my next ecology project is going to be these regal tangs look quite nice. I'm not a big fan of mackerel. Stingray. No, that likes hot water. Is there a cold one that will go in the other tank? Doesn't look like it. The regal tangs look nice though. I could stick them in a tank by themselves. I think that would be good. Yeah, let's have one of those. Right, I'm going to put the back area in where my where my tanks are going to be. One, two, three. I like to keep about three or four. I'm going to go three at the moment. And let's see if we can make this Seventy. That's eighty-eight. I think seventy might be enough at the moment. So we're going to put in our. Let me quickly find it. Our pump. Probably about there. And I also want... That's 220. That one might be big enough. Let's have a quick look at that. Uh, Okay, so if we'd uh, done the red-haired catfish, we could have grabbed a common lobster. It's okay. I'm just trying to get some rank in, in and stuff like that as we're going along. Let's quickly make my people happier and put a couple of benches in for them. And a couple of bins. I also need, if I quickly look at those those tetras again, I need acid. Uh, yeah, I need heat. Okay, so we need a row machine. And we need a good filter. That's probably not in the best place that I could have I could have made. Let's grab that row machine. I need two. I'm going to grab two rather than mucking around with plants and stuff because I still need to keep a little bit of area free in this for um, our Adolfo's Corys when they come in. So let's just grab some of these Java ferns. Oh. Snake grass for sale. Okay, I'll get that later. Uh, I want to get something that's deep for it. And butterfly ram eggs. Oh, I'd like those. Okay. Let me finish with this tank first. Let's get a few of these in. A couple of hammers and swords. 
and let's see what else they need. Anything else? Uh, some brine shrimp, acid. I'm gonna grab eight. Let's grab the brine shrimp from the tweets. And now let's take some of these walls down. And we'll put another door so that people can get in here. And I'm going to stick up some podiums. Uh, let's have a look. I think a podium here might be quite good. And at the moment, a podium here. Let's grab some mic stands. I think I've got enough room there. Two station, mic headsets. I got the refiller thing for the row stands there. I can put one there. One there. Okay, this one is going to be a talk. Nine o'clock in the morning, two hours, and let's see if I can get some sight. Uh, no, I can't get any prestige points, but I can get something on my sunshine pleco. So let's get that. This one's at, again every two days. It started at twelve, and we're going to do it on the common cuttlefish. Okay, we've got a talk going on already. People are happily meandering, looking in this. That looks good to me. So, let's have a look. What did we have? So, I'm going to quickly pause. So, we can get some horse eye jack if we trade for those gardeners' killy fish, but we have to buy them first. The bull has with the plecos, which is fine. We can get those. Uh, hopefully they breed for us. Gardener's killifish. Uh, they need a neutral tank. They must be kept in pairs. So we could probably build a tank just for those. We could uh, start looking at the red-tailed catfish. That's just a purchase, which we can wait. Butterfly ram eggs. We could put those into our nursery. And those are the jacks that we need the gardener's killifish for. Okay, so I think the next stage is build the gardener's killifish. Okay, so I'm going to spread this all the way out. So we've got 5,000. Let's grab... Let's grab this. Got lots of space behind these um, areas at the moment, which is good. I like having lots of space. This is kind of spreading everybody out quite a lot, and they're all having to go walk down here, but I can cope with that. Just about. This one is very wide. Right, I might now make this only about four. I'm going to make it five. Going to keep this one the way it is. And let's have a look what this killifish needed. Okay, they only need is size 2. 80%. Okay, I think these are going to cope in a small tank, actually. So we may just do a small observation tank here. See what size observer tanks. 15 to 30. I think a size 30 tank would be perfect. Yeah, I think one of those. Let's 
going to quickly put in my maintenance stuff. Which I always forget where it is. I'm going to put in a power comb because it's quite small. And it gives me a uh, space to put an extra filter in case I need to. And let's have a quick look what sort of plants they wanted. I do have a habit of keeping pausing and I really shouldn't. So just plus two plants. They want some of the bog wood as well. So we can put in... Let's see, have we got a good bog wood? Yeah, let's put in some java fern. Uh, we could put in some corkscrew varlis. And then we can see what they they want us um, for breeding purposes. So let's go. It's a deal. Fab. Yeah, I thought they might need uh, extra... So they need extra bog woods and they need more filtration. That's fine. We will just put in a small piece of bog wood. And let's see what they need to breed. Okay, to breed, they just need this water quality up. So these are quite simple looking to breed. And yeah, I do still want that nursery area so I can take everything away and put them hidden. <laughs> Unless I have just a small tank in the middle. Right, let's grab a large filter maybe. No, that's still not enough. I'm going to do something and put in put in a small heater put in one of those and then put in a nitrate our water quality quite nicely and we need some brine shrimp which is over the other side so they're going to have their own shrimp okay there's a lot of space over here now because I'm using these tanks instead of the wall tanks and they take up a little bit better space I think okay let's go for that Okay, 447. Let's have a look at the next one we've got. We haven't got much money. We've only got 2,000. So that one we need to breed. Knock that off. That one we need to breed. That one we could just buy. Those we can just buy. And we're just going to have a quick look at these. Like that. Pollocks have all grown. And that needs our gardener's killifish. Okay, water quality here needs to be increased quite considerably. So let's quickly pull this back a little bit so we can have a little bit more space behind this tank. And I like a little bit more space for this. I'm going to move this around a little bit anyway. So this is a salt water one. And maybe... Maybe a nitrate reactor would work. No, that's not happy with the nitrate reactor. It still doesn't do it. Let's try... 
try a few other things. Probably going to be a large pro. Probably going to be a protein skimmer. Yeah, may as well. Bit of overkill. Doesn't matter. Right, my breeding area. Hmm. I could have it as a series of just observer tanks. Maybe I can have them observing the breeding. I'm going to just spin this around. Yeah, I think breeding tanks are going to be here. So the first one I want is these butterfly rams. And they need acid water. And I, I'm going to have to create something for them where they are not uh, predated by anything. So, I think another one of these observer tanks might be quite nice. Yep. The reason why I never build these things is because people try to then get into the right, wrong area. Uh, I wonder if I can see what these uh, fish are going to need. Red belly piranha for sale. Oh, he's quite heavy duty. He's going to kill everything. Let, uh, he's also expensive. We don't have that sort of money. But we, we can afford 482. Uh, water quality, base survival rate. They need some flat surfaces, fresh water. Let's just get the flat surface and a, and a few other bits and pieces. Nice bit of flat slate. A couple of fresh water plants we're going for. We're just going to have um, a filter I think. Let me see. Oh, it's an 80% one again. So I think we're going to go with the same sort of thing. So, a quick power heater. A nitrate reactor again. lock that. Uh, let's go and do that catfish. Let's move this. They can feed from the same area there. And a filter. Okay, let's go and buy those fish. Oh, we got enough money. It's a deal. Oh, we only get two It's a deal, yes. Right, let's quickly pause. Many because I've missed that these guys need acid. Mm, okay, we need a row machine, and yeah, we're gonna have to move this one around. Not the neatest way of doing it, but it'll do for the time, unless I actually could actually demolish this maybe and put in the combi because I've got the nitrate filter there and then I'm going to stick a row machine in ah. yeah that looks good I didn't want to kill those <laughs> let's have a look what they need so this is a bit of a uh, guess really is that they got 70% of them will survive so we are gonna lose some we know that we've got 21 babies in there so we'll see how many we get at the end and I, I'm spinning us around again so let's go and make my people happy put down some benches 
Large row machines are fab. Uh, let's see. Large nitrate reactor. Possibly. What's ready for rank 7? Small beach tank. No, I don't want a small beach tank at the moment. Uh, deluxe toilets. Let's go for the large nitrate reactor. I'm going to put a... I'm going to change these for the larger one. So, we can just do that, that. Quickly do a row machine. Pick this up. Okay. Oh, people are really enjoying this talk. It's a good ecology talk going on. They're happy. Let's give them some more benches. Now we get ecology points off uh, after breeding. We actually get. Looks like we're getting prestige as well. So that's pretty good. Not a beautiful looking uh, area at the moment. I mean, this is a bit of a waste, but it does the job for the time being. We will make it tidier at some stage. I'm put that in there. Okay, I like that. Let's have a look what else we've got. We've only got 4,700. Let's clear these down. Uh, right, Plecos. Yes, I still need to breed those ones. Dante is leveled up. I'm going to make him cleaning. That piranha is still too expensive, really. That I've got to breed. My cuttlefish have grown. Cuttlefish have grown. Bull has need to breed. Need to get this red tailed catfish breeding. And I need some snake grass. Oh, and I've just got another one. Oh, leopard sharks. Oh, now we need the red belly piranha. Right, okay, so uh, in order to get the red belly piranha, I need to buy him. Okay, but he's expensive. And I don't know how many he's going to give me. But he also needs a big tank. Either have one or you have to have six. So if we have six, we need a tank that's at least size 90. And he's going to be by himself because he's going to eat everyone. Okay, so this is looking quite good. Don't mind this. 781, 779. We, we're motoring away there like, quite nicely. Let's have a look at the fish that we've got. So, our saltwater ones are our tang, which does look quite nice. Uh, he's a size 8. Needs a 48. And needs an 80 water quality. And he needs hot water. It's hot water, yeah. So, he's our only saltwater one. So, I think we could probably build another tank here. And I said he needed a tank of 48. 48, yeah. I'm going to grow in a couple of them. Okay, we've got our butterfly ram. Let's pause this because we're going to have to add things for the spawn. Okay, the spawn now need a cave. Just the one thing with these is sometimes they need different things for the spawn versus the eggs versus the adults. Uh, we also need new fit. We also need live artemia. I don't want them to die, so that's why I'm pausing.
this is why I like putting the nursery together because um, it means that I can keep all these live Artemias and everything else in one place. And let's put another door in here. Oh, hopefully those butterfly ram are going to be fine. Right, I'm going to build a lagoon tank. space I should have right okay we got southern stingray which is hot water may eat or damage our crustacean he goes very big so I'm not actually sure what to put him in with a mackerel is a wimp, can't be housed with a bully. And we've got a crab. Uh, I'm gonna go for a crab. I'm gonna build this lagoon tank out. I do like lagoon tanks of this size. It's kind of my my favourite size, to be honest. Yeah, that's going to be too close. I think it's going to be there. And we needed, have to think, got sidetracked. Oh, actually, we might actually do the catfish. Oh, it needs such a big tank. I really want to do this catfish, but this this tank needs to be huge. Let's have a look what we've got. Gay leveled up. She's going to fix. Turtles have grown. Both the turtles have grown. Those are doing all right. Uh, let me have a look. That needs to be supplement. Somebody in here should have supplements. What am I going to do this tank out with uh, this? Yeah, that needs too big a tank at the moment. I really want to do that though. Okay, I'm going to do the tank. Uh, 48, need lots of plants. And I need to keep the water quality up. And it needs to be hot, so let's go for another pump. Pick next research. Make a double filters. Salt water needs a power pump. Needs a heater. be big enough and we need to have a nice water quality so we're going to pick this up move it let's grab um, two two water quality I have to think double filter For that. Let's go for some plants. A couple of rocks, maybe. I was like to put in a bit of a rocky overhang. Let's do a drift or cave though this time. And 
maybe a shell. Let me grab those tangs. I'm gonna grab a couple of them. And we're gonna need no krill. Knock down the walls. They're actually quite easy to um please. What else we could put on the top? Oh, that regal tank talk. Right, that's going to be moving. I'm going to change that into a regal tank talk. Okay, ram spawns have grown and Lorena's leveled up. I'm going to make a feed and uh, we now need to pause this again because butterfly ram is something completely different to the uh, young again they now need five fluffy plants so it's quite funny because some plant some sometimes the young need the same sometimes they don't I'm going to sell those and I'm going to grab us some moss balls. Uh, we still need some other big plants as well. Okay, that makes them happy. See if they need anything else. Care requirements, pairs only, must be kept in two, not kept in multiples of two. Ah, okay, how many butterfly rams have we got? We have five. Mm. We've got more rams than we need. Problem is, if I sell one of these rams, it might not make them happy. Ah, that's a tricky one. Do I sell a ram? Do I put the ram somewhere else? Let's see if he'll go in there. Uh, it needs a house, needs better water quality, needs a fluffy plant. Hmm. I can change his tank around a bit. I'm going to keep the butterfly ram there safe because I don't want to sell him yet. Uh, let me have a look. Let's get rid of some of this. I'll get, get rid of some of this decoration. Get rid of that one. And I'm going to get rid of one of the big rocks. What I'm going to do instead is put... Oh, it needs some row ones as well, so... We've got a few things we're going to get. <laughs> this might not have been a good idea. In fact, I'm really beginning to think this was a bad idea. Uh, right, okay. Let's grab a bit of a rocky overhang. Pleco's now not happy because he needs... Um, this at least oh the butterfly ram no no i got the wrong one let me see acid not enough decoration okay we're going to be putting more of that in because i need the bog wood anyway okay my 
Pleco is now happy. And my other one isn't. So let's see what else we could put in here. I can get rid of that slate. Unless my Pleco needs that. Okay. Actually, changing this around helped because uh, the Pleco has found a mate. Uh, it, needed a, it needed a cave and I've actually given it a cave so this actually worked um, though I think I'm going to sell the butterfly ram yeah let's sell the butterfly ram I don't want to sell that. I just want to sell my butterfly ramp. Thank you. Okay. The Pleco has now got all care requirements filled. So he might actually breed. So we need to keep an eye out because I then need to move the spawn out. So this is looking quite nice. Oh, somebody's not happy. Why isn't that person happy? Somebody just had... Can't find the one. Ah, uh, let's have a look. All stuff. Can't talk of that. Uh, it was only one, so it's probably something very strange. Let's see what this one likes. Jetty tank. Pick next research. Go for the stingray. They like my killifish. Like the jetty tanks. It was an okay talk about the regal tang. There's another talk going on. We're at 788. So we are moving up into rank 9, hopefully. If these plecos breed, that would be brilliant. Got no messages yet, so let's go and keep expanding. I think we're going to keep expanding out this way for the time being. Um, just into one big room. What I might do is make it a lot wider. So we're going for a wider footprint that works for me not as nice as that right but that was okay these dudes try to get everywhere okay at the moment I've just blocked it off I think I'm going to put the baby tank for the plecos in there Let's have a look. It's just going to be a basic tank or a wall tank. Yeah, a little wall tank, I think. Fifteen, twenty-three. That should be enough for a couple of plecos. I think at some stage this tank is going to have to be changed and the plecos are going to have to go in their own tank. We'll keep that for there for the time being. This will move back a bit, so this is a wider area. No, I'm not going to change that yet. Okay, Isaac has leveled up. He's going to be feeding. We're on 843, 847. So we're doing okay with the ranking. Not doing too bad at all. I'm going to get a couple of male members of staff in. There isn't anybody at the moment. Oh, I've got loads of members of staff. I didn't check in the beginning whether we had staff. So I've got loads. Doesn't matter. Porcupine for sale. Let's have a look what that needs. Hmm. 
That could go with one of our bigger fish. I might grab one of those, actually. Not yet. Right, I think my next tank... We're going to get that one for the sunshine. I think I'm going to have a look what my killifish needs. So... That's going to be my horse side jack. Let's have a look what these killifish need in order to breed. So the pair are not alone. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, that's very tricky. Your killifish need to be on their own. Pairs only must be kept in multiples of two. But even though you've kept them in multiples of two, they actually need to be in their own tanks as well to breed. Right, okay. The one thing about this is I wish there was a way of duplicating tanks so I could just pick this entire thing up and go, I want to copy this. Right, let me pause. I really want to copy this tank. And it was Killifish 1 and Killifish 4 had found a mate. Ah, oh, this is so tricky sometimes. observer tank and it's just these decorations it was quite simple so I went for a java fern and some corkscrew valis go for pirate chest in the front oh we need the same sort of setup so let's grab us a small actually I wonder if we can actually just do a power combi Then just grab the larger nitrate filter. That should give us what we need. And now I need to move the killifish. So the breeding pair were one and four. And three and two were together, but they needed now fluffy foliage. So let's grab some fluffy foliage. So sometimes this breeding stuff means that we've got to keep moving things around in these tanks. Okay, so we now got two tanks of kitty fish. crazy but eh, it's getting there okay let's have another look what we've got porcupine stingray I, I still fancy that pleco one and I fancy the that piranha we need that big tank so he reaches 15 we need at least six of them so we need a tank of at least 90. Uh, he can't be with crustaceans. High skill is required to feed and he, he needs acid. Okay, let's have another look what we've got left. Small beach tank. No. We can go for a feeding platform tank. That might be great for the piranha. And the jetty tank might be good as well. So let's see if we have got a big enough tank. I need at least 90 
deep observer tank will do it. Small tunnel tank. I've really got anywhere to put that. Jetty tank. A jetty tank would be great. But I'm only going to put piranha in it. it. Takes up a lot of space. Deep observer tank might do what we need to do. Yeah, I think deep observer tank. I think a deep observer tank for this. Uh, let's see how many piranha we're we going to go for. Okay, vet's leveled up. She's going to be fixing. I've unlocked that stingray. I'm going to go for this mackerel. And I'm going to spread out to build a deep tank for my... Um, piranha, which I think is going to go here. I'm just going to quickly size it. Oh no, that's, that's not the right size there. Don't want that. Go, go, go away. I want a deep observer tank. Full size, I think I'll go for. Which is one, two, three, four, five across. So let's get rid of some of these. I'm gonna put them there. Move him up. And I need to put that. That there. And what else do I need for him? Bogwood. Acid. His water quality is not that that good, so that doesn't really matter. Oh, okay, we've ranked up. So we've hit we've hit number eight. This is really good. Oh, we hit number nine actually. So we've got a whole load of new things that we can get, which is really good. We've got some more um, fish that we can actually go and get anyway. Right, okay. I'm actually going to leave it right there. I think we're in a good position because we might end up moving tanks around if we, um, in order to get up to the next rank, because it's quite hard to get up there. And I think we really need to get these things starting breeding. So. They haven't yet bred. Neither have they. And neither have my killifish. So we got to wait on all these to breed. But at least we know we got two breeding pairs of killifish. So thank you very much for joining me. Uh, I hope you had a, a good fun on this one. Um, this is Kairobi. And uh, please tune in again. And um, if you did like it, please click the like button and subscribe. Because I'd be very happy. And I will end up drinking lots of coffee for that. Thank you. Anyway, good night and take care of each other. And see you soon.